Welcome back guys to another episode of Boot or Blue Screen where we fix customers, computers, people who are subscribers, anyone who wants to reach out. As long as you're local to the area and we can meet and exchange the PC, I will try to fix it. This one here is, well, I can read the message, but the message is quite all over the place. But let's just say, um, I'll throw it up on the screen. Essentially what's going on is he had it just fine working for a long time and eventually it just stopped turning on. So now it turns on, the motherboard lights up for a second, flickers and then turns off. We had a little conversation when we met. He basically explained that like it'll turn on for a split second, like lights come up and then it turns off. And it's funny because this is a, I believe it's a gigabyte motherboard and gigabyte motherboards always have this similar behavior where the lights will like flicker on really quick and turn off. So hopefully it's not the motherboard. I would prefer it to be the power supply because I get tons of power supplies kicking around. But um, yeah, let's check it out. So one thing I'm noticing right out of the gate besides the a lot of, uh, the one thing I'm noticing right out of the gate besides the excessive amount of dirt everywhere is that the NVMe is actually taped down in place and it's a four terabyte. I don't believe that this is an NVMe that I put in here. I would have never done such a large NVMe. And if you look close, you can see there's a piece of tape and it's actually up, which is kind of interesting. So um, yeah, I'm still gonna take that out, make sure everything's all right with that, but just wanted to point it out. One of the other interesting things here is the power supply cable is really stuck in here. Um, this was something that actually just the case has always had an issue with. So we'll try to address that if it's the power supply. I'm not really sure. I guess we could flip the power supply, but this hole is quite small to, uh, to be honest. I think there's something funny about this. It's almost like this case requires a smaller power supply and the full size was an afterthought. And here is the NVMe SSD. This is a four terabyte Western Digital. And yep, he tried to tape it in there, which is not a good thing. Man, this case is so dirty. Wow, we got a bunch of stuff back here. We got a one terabyte hard drive and then we have another Samsung drive here as well. All right, we got the power switch on. I don't see any lights on the board. Looks like it's turning on to me. Maybe that uh, NVMe was causing an issue. And look at that. <laughs> we turned right on. So, I wonder if this NVMe being taped in there was actually the problem. Uh, I'm gonna try to put it back in with a screw properly and reassemble everything. Uh, obviously, we're gonna clean this out because this dude's computer is really, really dusty. I just wanna show you guys this too. If you look there, you can actually see there's a screw there. So. He could have probably used the screw, maybe he just didn't know it was there. Now I'm gonna remove this GPU to make sure I properly reseat that NVMe, but I also want to, again, clean this out for him because it is really dirty. Also this power supply, I kinda wanna figure out what's up with this. If I can figure it out, if I can straighten it out, I don't know, it's uh, pissing me off that it's so crooked. So I struggled quite a bit at uninstalling this GPU due to the H370 gigabytes clip being so rock solid. I took the computer outside and did a pretty good cleaning. Nothing too, too crazy, like a deep clean, but enough to get it clean enough where the customer is not going to have any dust problems. Also cleaned the GPU and then went on to wipe down the panels of the computer. And the one thing about this computer to note is there's tons of acrylic on the outside. So I made sure to use a mixture of like Windex and some acrylic safe spray. I really miss EVGA. These guys were pretty sick. So as you can see right here, there is still a screw here in place. So he probably just had a hard time reaching in there and didn't want to take the GPU out. That would be my guess. But now that we have it out properly, take this piece of tape off. We're gonna pop the drive in correctly. And if this was in a little bit crooked, just hanging out, it would definitely stop working. So make sure it's in nice and straight. Straighten out that cooler. Let's put the GPU back in. Let's see if I can figure out how to get this in properly. I think I must have done something like this. Yep. It's really tight in this case. This is not, not ideal. I don't know what Cooler Master was thinking with this case. 
and it has an acrylic panel on the front instead of glass. Make sure it's in both sides. Looks good. I really do not remember leaving these blue stickers on here, but I took them all off there driving me crazy. That's a mirrored finish. Why do you want the blue sticker? Put that ram back in. This card's backplate is aligned right with these little memory clips. Also for the final touch, you'll notice that that power supply looks a little crooked like we said before. It just needs to be pushed back into place. And there's a little thing to screw down over here and that should be it. Now again, I don't know what Cooler Master was thinking, but I shaved off just a little tiny bit on this edge and sure enough, now I can get it in pretty easily. So I'm gonna leave that like that for him. It's not gonna do anything. There's no, the cable's nowhere near that outside there. So it should be fine. Um, all right, so not the most exciting thing here, but let's see if it turns on. And we're looking for it to go into Windows. So hopefully we'll get a Windows loading screen here in a minute. There you go, already. Now I'm not gonna go through any of his stuff on the desktop, it's all like private, so there we go. So I did go into the BIOS and make sure his NVMe shows up and you can see the Western Digital Black SN850X 4000 gigabytes. And that's the one that has the important stuff on it. So I just wanted to make sure that that showed up properly. So let's be honest, that was pretty boring. Usually they're a little bit more complicated than that, but we did take away something. And that is if you install your NVMe with a piece of tape, it's probably gonna cause boot issues. And so for the purpose of taking the NVMe out to make sure nothing got wrecked on the NVMe. We probably solved the issue within that time frame, and I really didn't want to boot it up with it taped halfway hanging out because that can actually cause a short or cause problems that you don't want. So um, it's a good thing you take it out. Usually with troubleshooting, you want to start with the PC as it is, try to turn it on and then one by one troubleshoot things. But because he addressed how much it was important to him that the uh, SSD, NVMe, and hard drive were things that he needed. I unplugged all of them right out of the gate. So because this PC was so easy to fix and it really doesn't require tons and tons of video, I need to hit around eight minutes for YouTube to pick up monetization on this video or I'm just wasting my time. And when you're doing stuff for free like this, it's kind of a little annoying. So let me introduce you to my friend Charles. He's a little chipmunk outside and he eats a lot of food, actually too much food. He fills his entire cheeks to the point that they are about to explode. And the poor little rabbit is trying to eat next to him, but Charles just wants to continue filling his mouth with food on and on and on. And Charles brings his food to the neighbor's house and fills up the neighbor's property with the food he stole from next door. A bit on the shorter side, but if you enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.